and the Harbour View players are superior in height uh, to their Real Mona counterpart. Here comes a kick, a header towards goal, and it's a looping one that eludes the crossbar. So nil nil the scoreline. Hasn't been a bad game to watch though. It's just that we haven't had any goals to describe. And Harris. That's a poor first touch and then a lunging tackle should earn himself a yellow card. And uh, he's working over time to do that with a tackle like those, Kareem Gibson. He might not end the game. Lawrence manages to keep that one in play. And he has picked out Mikhail Robinson. Robinson forced away for the moment. He still can't get the cross in and has to push it back downfield to Fisher. Uh, Fisher, here's Lynch. Lynch. Lynch dips inside and takes a shot. And a very weak shot it was. And one that was off target as well. Ball knocked forward, it's gone into touch for uh, uh, throwing to Real Mona. Here's Forbes. Uh, it goes down, the referee not interested. As uh, Lawrence is in possession. Here's Fisher. Fisher uh, trying to dribble out of his own half was forced back to Morgan. Uh, Morgan to Samuels. Samuels inside. Good work from Morgan. Atiba Morgan drives forward and then sends the ball to the left hand side and then it was uh, nicked away it seems. And it looks as it has gone into touch uh, for a throwing to Real Mona. Uh, taken to Asher. No, Williams. He has gone out of the game somewhat. Mm. Maria Campbell. Lifts it forward to Lynch. Lynch a little chested pass down and he was looking to feed one in towards Prince Samuels. Uh, the Real Mona def defense stood firm. Here's Reed. Back to Williams. Williams uh, pats it away to the left hand side. It's back to Reed. And uh, Giovanni Beckford decided against going forward. Uh, back to Harris. Harris stretches it uh, to Martin. Good use of the width of the park here from Real Mona. And he's driving through. Now Holness is asked to chase one against Atiba Morgan. Morgan won it, but Harbourview, they have it back with Mario Campbell now. Forward looking for Prince. And he gets a call from the referee. Lynch goes down. Another call. And it has gone in favour of Harbourview. Have a view they have a free, have a free kick and it's a Fisher who will take it the uh, St. George's St. George's standout 
Fisher has been asked to test the goalkeeper. He struck it well, but the wall did break early. Good work from Ro Anderson. Lifts it into the box, the goalkeeper. Uh, doesn't look the most competent in taking that. Here's Fisher. And the goalkeeper is down. Uh, might, have, might have hurt himself in trying to effect that clearance. Uh, so the goalkeeper is down and clutching the left ankle. And the players can take the opportunity to opportunity to refresh themselves. And the music man having his time as well. And I must tell you, for those who are not able to see, it's really a treat here with the Clara girls. Really easy going on the eyes, aren't they? A nice crowd in hand here to witness this game. Yeah. 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 The crowd not having any goals to cheer about just yet. But they can't be too disappointed at all. It has been good in terms of the run of play. Entertainment provided in rich Clara style. Uh, but uh, more importantly for both teams, the score remains at nil nil. The goalkeeper, Neil Oxford, is back up and ready to carry on with business. And play will resume with a drop ball. Uh, so nil nil the score line. Uh, that uh, breakage in play will uh, surely see a few minutes being added at the end of this first half. Here's Fisher. You really see him go down in a match. He's a very tough customer, but a very 